Apple was always designed to be an assessment for teachers by teachers. And I think the fact that we have listened to what they've told us about what they like about the Apple and what they would like to see improved about the Apple, you'll find in Apple 2.0. We have national reports this year, uh, which will allow teachers to compare their students' results with other similar students across the U.S. So what's great is that not only can you look how your students are doing compared to uh, national averages, you can also look within your school. How, how are the kids in my class doing compared to the kids in other levels of Spanish? And then a school can also look to see how are we progressing toward our school-wide goals for proficiency and performance. The feedback that we get is that educators want not just a test that aligns with standards. They want a test that provides an authentic, relevant experience. And that is a major driver in, in Apple 2.0, is to make the test experience seem as natural and real as possible. The Apple assessment has always valued communication, but we want that situation to be you know, believable, something that the student can imagine themselves doing in, 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 the, in their daily life with the language. I think that educators are going to be very excited about the new version of the Apple because they're going to see in it all the feedback that they gave us over the last especially two years. Um, I referred earlier to all the surveys that we do and we really took the input seriously and really drove a lot of the innovations around the things that our clients uh, were telling us they needed um, the Apple to become.